finally, the wait is over on one of the most requested videos in this channel. The updated IM injection skill station using streptomycin. People have requested a lot for this video. Now, Skenny, do this video for us. Now it is here. It's going to be as explicit as possible. So without further ado, let's get into it. As I approach my scene, I see my scene is safe. Nothing to harm me or my patient. I provide privacy by pulling the nearby curtain. I go ahead to perform my hand hygiene, following the seven steps of WHO standard. Ample amount of gel to my palm. I rub palm to palm, right palm over left dosum, vice versa. Fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, vice versa. Rotational rubbing of the thumb, rotational rubbing of the thumb, rotational rubbing of the finger close to my palm, vice versa. Rotational rubbing of my wrist, vice versa. My ends are clean and I will allow to dry for 30 seconds as I approach my patient. Hello, yeah, I'm Kenny, one of the nurses that will be looking after you today. How are you? Right. The reason why I'm here is to administer your due IM medication. Yeah, for 800 hour. Uh, is it a convenient time, please? Oh, good. Okay. So before we proceed, could you please confirm your full name and date of birth while I double check with my paperwork as well as against your wristband, please? Oh, fantastic. I have on my chart also Janet James and on your wristband, uh, Janet James. And your date of birth is 0101-1947. 0101-1947. Okay, how may I address you, please? Oh, good, Janet. All right. So, assessor, I can confirm I am with the right patient and I'm happy to proceed. Okay. All right, Janet. Uh, could you please confirm if you have any allergies at all? Oh, good. You have none. It is properly documented in my notes that you have no known allergy. Okay. Right. So is it okay to take you through your medication record chart, please? So I have with me the hospital mar chart for Jeanette James. The date of birth is 0101-1947. The hospital number is 1234567. The word is a general word. The height is 1.6 meter. The weight is 72 kilogram. The body mass index is not stated. The date of admission is today. The consultant's name is Dr. Tolu. The time of admission is 800 hour. Where the prescriber details should be. I have the name Dr. Tolu. The GMC number is 1234567. The signature is properly appended. The blip number is 123. Under the details of the person administering the medication, which is myself, I will come back to documents on this page appropriately. Under alerts and allergies, my patient is not having any known allergy and the box no is ticked for Janet. Under medication risk factor, there is no medication risk factor ticked for Janet. I will move on to the next page. I still have hospital march chart for Janet James. The date of birth is 0101-1947. The rest of information on this page is as the same as the previous page. I have read and understood the code. I will come to use appropriately if need be. Under once only medication, there is no once only medication documented for Janet. I move on to the next page. I have hospital march out for Janet James. The date of birth is 0101-1947. The rest of information on this page is as the same as the previous pages. Under prescribed oxygen, there is no oxygen prescribed for Janet, and Janet is not retaining carbon dioxide. I move on to antimicrobial. Under antimicrobial, the drug is streptomycin. The date is today. The dose is 900 milligram. The frequency is one daily. The route is intramuscular. The duration is 60 days. The time is 1200 hour. The start date is today. The finish date is plus 59 days. The prescriber signature and blip is properly appended. It is a valid and legible prescription due at my time. And I will be administering the medication to Janet. Streptomycin is a medication that is used to treat drug resistant tuberculosis especially when the first line medication is not suitable okay and some of the side effects you may or may not manifest include and not limited to 
nausea, vomiting, dizziness, or headache. Are you still happy for me to administer this medication, Janet? Okay, thank you very much. So I will not be appending my signature now. Um, I will come back to do that after the administration of the medication. I move on to the next page. I still have on this page, my chart for Janet James, the date of birth 0101-1947. The rest of information on this page is as the same as previous pages. There is no regular medicine prescribed for Janet. I move on to the next page. I still have hospital my chart for Janet James, the date of birth 0101-1947. The rest of information on this page is as the same as the previous pages. There is no medication prescribed for Janet under as required medicine. I move on to the next page. I still have hospital my chart for Janet James, the date of birth is 0101-1947. There is no infusion prescribed for Janet and under omitted parts. If I omit any medication, I will come back to document appropriately. Okay. Thank you very much, Janet. That brings us to the end of the uh, chat review. So I'll be stepping aside now. Here is the call bell should you need me uh, while I go and prepare the medication. And I'll be back shortly. Is that okay, Janet? All right. All right, Assessor, could you please confirm the medication cupboard is under lock and key and will only be open for the purpose of medication administration only. Right, thank you very much. I have on my hand streptomycin IM injection, 1000 milligram equals to one mil. It is not expired. The expiration date is February 2026. I will go ahead and compare that with my prescription to be sure it's the same medication that is prescribed. I have on the chart as well streptomycin. The dosage is 900 milligram, meaning I'm going to be withdrawing 0 0.9 mil. All right. So it tallies. I'm happy to continue. Prior to every medication administration, the six principle need to be ensured. That is the right patient, the right medication, the right dosage, the right route, the right time and date, the validity of the prescription, and the proper documentation after administration. I have all my seats right in place and I'm happy to proceed. I will be gathering the rest of the um, equipment now. So I have the blunt field needle Yeah, It's intact and not expired. The expiration date is February, 2026. I'm happy to use. I have here my safety needle that is to administer the medication it is not expired. The expiration date is February 2026. I'm happy to use. I have my syringe. In the exam, it could be one meal or two meals that will be available. Either of these could be used. I could only lay my hands on five meals here, just for illustration uh, purpose. Okay. It is not expired. It's in date. The expiration date is February 2026. I'm happy to use. I have um, a clo exceeding wipe, 70% alcohol based. It's not expired. It is still in date. The expiration date is February 2026. I'm happy to use. I put that in my tray. Also, I have a piece of gauze. It is not expired. The expiration date is February 2026. I'm happy to use as well. I have also the adhesive tape. It is not expired. The expiration date is February 2026. I'm happy to use. Okay, so I will perform my hand hygiene now following the seven steps of WHO standard to prepare the injection. So I will go ahead and clean the top of the vial for 30 seconds and allow it to dry for another 30 seconds using my 70% alcohol based um, clo exceeding wipe. I'll go ahead now to peel open my syringe in an aseptic manner um, halfway through. Okay, so I will put that in my tray. Also, I will go ahead and peel open my blunt field needle in the same manner, and I'll be keeping it also in my tray. The same thing is going to be done to my syringe in an aseptic technique. I'm going to be opening it halfway through also. Keep that as well in my tray. Okay. I will quickly perform my hand hygiene following the seven steps of WHO standard. 
Okay. So I'm going to be picking my syringe now that I've opened halfway through initially. Then, without touching blunt field needle, so I will cock the needle in to the top of the syringe. Okay. So having done that, remember, we are not going to be re-scooping and resheating. I want to withdraw my medication now. So I'm going to be removing the cap of the needle now. So I'll be keeping that away from me. Okay. So that I will not be tempted to recap. I will be withdrawing now the dosage that is meant to be withdrawn. I will withdraw a little above that. Okay. Now, I've withdrawn a little above the, the required uh, dose. Okay. So, I'll go ahead and expel air till I get to that exact. So, I've expelled air from the syringe now to get to exact dosage. Okay. So, I have 0 0.9 mils now. That's 900 milligram according to my prescription. Now... So, Assessor, could you please confirm I have the right medication? Okay, thank you very much. So, now, I'm done now with the blunt field needle. You don't recap, okay, and be using my index and thumb to carefully unscrew the needle, making sure my hand does not contact the top of the syringe. So I've unscrewed the blunt field needle off the syringe now. So I'm going to be discarding that into the sharp box straight. Okay. So having discarded that, I will replace the blunt field needle now with the given needle. Patch it to the top of the syringe till I hear a click sound. Okay. So having done that, I'm going to remove the extra covering. Now I'm done now preparing my medication so I'm ready to go back to my patient now to administer the medication. So I will put the medication as covered like this in my tray. I'll go ahead and perform my hand hygiene following the seven steps of WHO standard. All right, Janet, I'm back. Are you still happy for us to continue, please? Okay, before we proceed, could you please reconfirm your uh, details while I double check with my paperwork as well as against your wristband, please? Oh, fantastic. So I see I have Janet James. Janet James, your date of birth is 01019470101 01019947. Okay, you said the other time that you have no known allergy. Am I correct? Yeah, it's properly documented in my notes that you have no known allergy. Assessor, I still have the right patient with me and I'm happy to proceed. Looking at the site for the medication to be administered now, uh, there is no sign of inflammation, no bruises, no skin lesion, no excoriation, uh, and the site is visibly clean, so I will not be cleaning. Okay, so um, Janet, I'm going to be administering the medication to you now. You will feel a sharp uh, scratch. I'll go ahead and remove the cover of the needle now. Okay, so I'll go ahead now to spread the skin around the place to in inject, okay? I'll go in at angle 90 degree, leaving about one centimeter of the needle outside, okay? So I will go ahead now to give the medication over 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, And I will leave the needle in place for another 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So I'll go ahead now to put uh, a piece of gauze on the injected part in case there is any bleeding and put a tape on it in case the site bleeds to take care of that. Okay. So here is another important thing. As we have the needle like this, we are not going to reach it. You know that. Okay. And we will not recap also. So, after giving the medication, are you comfortable, Janet? Okay, yeah. I'll go ahead and activate the safety cap now. Okay. So, I'm going to activate that against hard surface. Okay. Let's assume this is the side of my trolley and I want to activate the safety cap of the needle now. Against the hard surface now, I'm going to press it down. 
until I hear that click sound. The needle safety cap is activated. So I will safely discard this with the needle and the syringe into the sharp box. All right, I think go ahead and perform my hand hygiene now as I step aside to document what I've done. Okay, following the seven steps of WHO standard. All right, Janet, uh, I'm back. Yeah, you see comfortable. So here is the call bell. I'll be leaving you now. So in case you need anything at any time, do press on the bosser and one of the members of the team will come to attend to you. Is that okay, Janet? Okay. So I'll go ahead now and lock the cupboard and put the key in place of safety, clean the reusable equipment, and I will perform my final hand hygiene following the seven steps of WHO standard. Yeah, that settles it. I hope your worries on IM injection is lessened now. It could be as simple as that. In case you need one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can reach out to us through the contact details that is displayed on your screen. And we will do everything in our best to assist you. Good news for us, this channel is partially monetized now. I really want to appreciate you all for your support, always. It does mean that you can step up your membership from being an ordinary subscriber to being a real member of this channel. And it comes with a lot of perks, some of which includes and not limited to. Shout out to you. Ability to make poll on the video you would want to see next. Also, exclusive videos that is beyond what we do here. You know, huddles behind the same stuffs that will help you to learn more and lots more are those things that is included in the membership um perks i don't want you to miss out on this what you need to do is simple just click on the join button and you will be noticed so most importantly your question and concern will be prioritized over others thank you so much i will see you in my subsequent videos and until then, keep practicing OSCE. Bye.